Welcome back to another leg day. This was yesterday's session. It is uh, Saturday, so this was Friday. And I was really sore, just absolutely toasted, roasted from a couple days before, actually, from Tuesday. On Tuesday, I did a 15 mile run and I've never done anything like that before. And it just fried my legs and my thighs and specifically my ankles are still sore. And I've been like um, penguin walking. What do they call that? Uh, freaking hobbling, uh, limping, I don't know. I have been going through it and I've earned it. I earned this. So I guess I gotta enjoy it. And it is not my favorite feeling right now, but the run was kind of fun. I am starting to like this long distance running stuff. I actually, I would say I hate it. Like doing it is the worst thing ever. But at the same time, it's like, I get a sense of clear headedness or just like a feeling of being at peace during that long run. And I wasn't able to run the whole time nonstop. I had to stop 11 miles in, my calves just gave out. And then I kind of just like hobbled, stumbled, uh, ran, ran walk all the way to the end, the last four miles. But I did make it and <clears throat> I'm proud of myself for that because I didn't think it was possible. But now I have to suffer the consequences. And even though this was like a pretty standard squatting session, I didn't have to think about it much. I still like just didn't enjoy it because squatting is not easy. And if you've got any leg pain, it just becomes that much worse. And you really gotta suffer through it to, to get down to that position. And so respect to anybody going out of their way to do some squats. I know how hard it is. I've got a lot of experience. I got a lot of experience to be able to tell you it's not easy to squat at all, no matter the day. But this day was a little harder for me, but like since the weight's still light, I just got through it and I'm progressing slowly. I am increasing the weight on the hamstring curls. So I'm at 45 pounds now. I am kind of just doing the same stuff. I did fail my weighted calisthenics, which was a bit of a bummer. At the same time, I've been eating like a pig. I've been eating like a lot of food and just piling on mass. I weighed myself today at 196, uh, which is like 26 pounds above where I was before. And I'm hoping to hit 200 maybe like 210, that'd be crazy if I hit 210, but at least 200. Uh, yeah, I wanna, I wanna hit 200 pounds in the body weight. And I think that's like 90, 91 kg, 90 kg, 91 kg. But <clears throat> that'll be cool to see just cause I've never been that heavy before. And I just kinda wanna maintain like a heavy frame, a heavy weight for a while. Uh, to to have that fuel to build up some real muscle because this is when this program really takes off. This is when it actually, um, you know, starts to level up. I'm back to one plate in the squat, which means, I mean, I don't know exactly what it means, but it, it means that I'm not that injured anymore. I'm not injured enough to not be able to squat and clearly, if I could run 15 miles, my knee can, you know, take a beating. Uh, and my knee is actually not even what's bothering me after that run. It's the, the ankles. My ankles are so sore. And my feet, my feet also took quite a beating uh, into the ground during that run. So, yeah, it's, it's great to see that my knee just went through this without a hitch. The first two miles, it felt kind of like... Uh, I felt insecure in it. Uh, and then 
I got some blood pumping in me. And I just kind of forgot about it. And the knee felt great the rest of the run. That's an amazing sign. That is a great sign that rehabbing, whatever I've been doing, has been working. And it's coming up on four months since I, I injured it. So, uh, yeah, this is just a great sign that what I've been doing has been working. And, you know, this might have been an ACL tear. And to think, like, you know, in, in four months to be where I am now is really amazing because I, I didn't know, you know, how this journey of recovery would go. When I broke my foot, it took me about three months to get back to normal. And even then, uh, I, I wasn't really normal for like six months. And yeah, it's, uh, it's just a different journey uh, recovering. And I'm sure it's going to keep going on longer. Like I'm sure I haven't seen the last of the pains from this but it's not something that I can't deal with and I haven't dealt with up until now. So I'm just gonna keep pushing forward. I'm gonna keep up in the weights every week, you know, whatever, even though I failed the weighted calisthenics, I'm uh, succeeding in the bulk and I'm packing on mass like I'm freaking Kirby and things are going good. To get my one-on-one -on -one help uh, to build your own fitness program and to lead you towards the physique of your dreams, click that link below. I do one-on-one -on -one training. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.